The research facility where the TIE Defender was developed is back in loyal imperialist control. In a mirror image of our last operation, Zarin has sent his own TIE defenders and assault transports to retake the platform. Imperial-class Star Destroyer Adaga and its starfighters must be dealt with first, so we are their first target. Take out the assault transports as quickly as you can before worrying too much about the TIE defenders. Escort shuttle group Red Knight has been ordered to reinforce our position here and is en route. The attack must be stopped. Most importantly, the TIE Defender research platform must be held. The research facility... The attack force is nine assault transports, though this is probably only the first wave. You may expect them to be joined by Thai defenders to mirror the operation you just participated in. Zarin has committed a larger force though, and it appears that their first target will be the Adaga. With the Adaga neutralized, they can then turn their attention to the platform. This facility must be held. You will fly a Thai defender designated Delta-1. You will have no wingmen. For this mission, your craft has been loaded with the standard armament of eight advanced concussion missiles. Also, you will have the improved tractor beam. The TIE defenders are too valuable to destroy unless absolutely necessary. Try to disable them if you can, but worry about the assault transports first. Any captured pilots will be interrogated as to the rest of Zarin's plans.
Stopped Zarin's attempt to recapture the TIE Defender R&D platform, but at a terrific cost. The station is now almost defenseless against any further attacks. Therefore, evacuation will begin immediately, and any remaining prototypes or relevant technology will be removed to safety. Ignore the TIE Defenders until all of the assault transports are destroyed. When you're attacking the TIE Defenders, use a single missile to take out the shields quickly, then switch to Ion Cat.